What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. Now, new data is coming out from this pandemic that I've been saying since March of last year. That's right, we've been in a pandemic. This month equals a year. And here's why I'm upset. Everything that's going on right now, everything they're finding out, I've been shadow banned, I've been yelled at, I've been called a grandma killer, I've been called a conspiracy theorist, and frankly, that's okay, because I'm not gonna stop talking about it because I knew it was right. Now, this is something I'm reading. Um, what is the, uh, this is in the Times. Okay, here's the headline. Obesity identified as driver of Britain's COVID death toll. Check this out. No country where less than 40% of the population is overweight has COVID death rates above 10 per 100,000. Now, obesity is a huge issue. It leads to heart problems. It leads to so many different things that can kill you. Basically, if you're fat, you can almost be certain that it will be a contributor or a driving factor to your ultimate death. I say this about smoking. I say, look, man, smokers, they know that habit will put them in the grave. Obesity is the same way. The amount of stress it puts on your body, on your heart, and usually obesity is a symptom of things that are much, much greater. Lack of activity, poor diet. This is just horrible. So instead of taking this pandemic, locking people down, shutting gyms, making people more inactive, all the while keeping fast food places open, all the while closing gyms, all the while keeping alcohol and liquor dispensaries open. No, no, here's what we did. Hey everybody, we have something that is mainly gonna target obese people. We knew this from the initial patients coming into New York. We have something that's mainly targeting obese people. So we're gonna make people stay indoors, be inactive. We're gonna basically have all these food places open while closing down places where people can get healthy. Well, you can exercise anywhere. Look, man, I actually, I'm very blessed. I built a gym onto my house. I literally have a separate area, a gym. It is a dedicated gym. It's not a Bowflex in my living room. I have a gym. I still go to the gym. Because the gym to me, you have people exercise, you have energy, you have everything. You have their special lighting that makes you look godlike in the mirrors. And the windows and the brightness and all the stuff going on around you. And that is why the gym is somewhere people need to go. But no, no, no. Dr. Fauci and his group of idiots saying, no, we need to lock down the gyms. Oh, by the way, masks don't work. Then masks do work. Then you need two masks. And now I saw they're recommending three masks. And now there's a school district in Illinois recommending that they're making kids, kids, who by the way are very, very, very minorly if affected at all by this virus, they're making them wear two masks. Illinois, so glad I moved from that shithole. But anyway, here's what I have. Look, I can't control what, what your state does, right? I'm in the great state of Tennessee. We don't have mask mandates. Everything's open at full capacity. I don't believe there's a curfew. Nashville, that's a different story. A little bit more of a liberal town, right? Look, the bottom line is I can't control what Governor Newsom does. I can't control what Governor Cuomo does, who he kills or who he touches inappropriately. I can't control what that ugly witch Whitmer does. I can't control that. You can't control that. You can yell and scream and curse at your neighbor all you want. Nobody cares. You gotta wait till you can vote again and hopefully you don't fuck with that as well, right? What you can control is yourself. You can control your health. You need to unfat yourself. You need to exercise more. You need to eat healthier. In many cases, eat less. Eat less calorically dense foods. Get in your vitamins. Guys, I'm gonna mention this in every video on this topic until the day I die. And if I die now, it's gonna be labeled COVID no matter what, right? So. I am gonna recommend you take your supplements, guys. They work, they, they work, okay? I'm not saying they're the cure. I'm not saying they're the treatment. I'm not saying the prevention. I'm also saying I'm not a doctor. But based on the studies and data that I have read and my thoughts on antiviral replication, I'm gonna say this every video. Take vitamin C, 
one gram twice a day. Take quercetin, around 400 milligrams twice a day. Take vitamin D, 5,000 IUs once per day. Take zinc, 10 to 30, 30 milligrams or even 50, whatever, once per day. There's what you take. Again, I made a stack for it. Buy that, again, like I say, just, just take those. Trust me on this, and they're cheap. You don't have to worry, it's not gonna like, it's not gonna cost as much of indemnivir, which is like $1,000 a dose. These are cheap, they are vitamins. They're not dangerous. Okay, bottom line is you need to take care of yourself. You can't wait for anybody else to take care of you. But if you are obese, if you have friends who are obese, I want you to use this as an opportunity not to make fun of them, not to say they're gonna die, but to offer them help. Offer to help them with their diet. Offer to help them with their training. Offer to give them advice. Offer to train with them. Because if we had a more fit society, as that headline from the New York Times said, the Times, the Times, the biggest fear-mongering whores in the world, they even say it themselves. If we didn't have an obesity problem, we would not have had a COVID problem. That's what I read from that. Maybe you read it differently, but let me know. Comment down below. Really appreciate you guys watching. Again, I'm gonna link all the stuff I talked about down below. Um, yeah, man, take care of yourself. Take care of your community. Take care of your family. And of course, while I'm at it, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, like this video. That's not a game.